the MAP kinase signaling pathway. The MAP kinase signaling pathway in the normal cell. The designation MAP kinase, abbreviated MAPK, originates from one of the first members of this protein family, the mitogen activated protein kinase. The MAP kinase pathway begins with the binding of a ligand, for example, EGF, to the extracellular portion of a membrane bound receptor of the family of receptor tyrosine kinases, abbreviated RTKs. Ligand binding leads to the dimerization of two subunits of the receptor tyrosine kinase. At the inner side of the receptor, tyrosine kinase domains catalyze phosphorylation of itself and also of the other subunit. Next, the growth factor receptor bound protein 2, GRAP2 for short, can bind to the phosphorylated RTK. The protein SOS, named after its homologue Son of Sevenless in Drosophila, is able to bind to the membrane bound protein RAS. Inactive RAS is bound to the nucleotide guanosine diphosphate, GDP. SOS catalyzes the exchange of the RAS bound GDP against GTP, guanosine triphosphate. This exchange leads to the activation of the RAS protein. In its active GTP bound state, RAS is able to bind to several effector proteins. The kinase BRAF is one of the most important effectors of RAS. Active BRAF phosphorylates and activates the kinases MEK1 and 2 which in turn phosphorylate and activate the kinases ERK1 and 2. Finally, the kinase cascade leads to the activation of transcription factors of the AP1 family. The abbreviation AP1 stands for activator protein 1. The best known AP1 proteins are the transcription factors June and FOS. After their activation, June and FOS move to the cell nucleus, where they form a heterodimer and bind to an AP1 motif of the DNA. This leads to the expression of many genes encoding, for example, growth factors, cyclins, and cytokines. As a direct consequence, cell proliferation is activated. In the normal cell, the active RAS GTP complex is inactivated shortly after its activation. In this way, a permanently active MAP kinase signaling pathway and undesirable effects are avoided. RAS GTP is inactivated by the GTPase activating protein, also known as GAP. GAP binds to RAS GTP and increases the very weak GTPase activity of RAS by several orders of magnitude. GAP achieves this activation by providing a domain that assists the RAS protein in the hydrolysis of GTP. The bound GTP is hydrolyzed to GDP. GDP-bound RAS is no longer active and can no longer bind to BRAF. As a result, the MAPK signaling pathway is turned off. The MAPK signaling pathway in a tumor cell with RAS mutation. Mutation of the RAS gene may have dramatic consequences for the cell. Mutated RAS protein is activated just like the normal protein. Mutated active RAS GTP is also able to bind and to activate the kinase BRAF. A major difference between the mutated and the normal RAS GTP protein is that the mutated protein loses its capability to be inactivated by the GTPase activating protein gap. GAP can still bind to mutated RAS in its GTP-bound form. However, GAP is not able to provide the domain that is crucial for the activation of the RAS GTPase. GTP is not hydrolyzed to GDP. Consequently, mutated RAS GTP stays active. The kinase BRAF stays bound to RAS GTP and remains active. BRAF phosphorylates and activates an increasing number of MEK1 and 2 proteins. In turn, MEK1 and 2 activate ERK1 and 2, which activate June and FOS. Thus, the kinase cascade is not turned off. A permanently activated MAP kinase signaling pathway results in continuously activated proliferation, which is an important feature of a tumor cell.